Have you ever felt held back by doubt and fear and wondering if you're ever gonna achieve your goals? Today I'm gonna give you guys some tips on what I do in order to accomplish my goals and overcome doubt and fear so I can be my most successful self. Confront your fears head on and do not let them hold you back. Let's get right into it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Princess Renny here, and I hope you're doing well. On this channel, we talk about Christian faith, lifestyle, as well as natural hair. If any of these things interest you, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also stay tuned for the rest of the video. Many times, we are held back by doubt and fear. And it's important for us to understand that these obstacles or the things that we're facing before us are merely illusions and they're the very thing that's holding us back from achieving our goals. This year has been nothing short of extraordinary and we're only in the second month, February. I've accomplished many things that I'm really excited about and it's mainly things that I've been holding back or putting off for a while because I've doubted myself or because I was fearful of it. And now I'm walking in that light and this year my focus and my goal is to overcome everything that I've been fearful um, or doubting myself about. I've overcome my fear of driving and it might seem minute to you or it might be something that you've already overcome. But if you know me, you know that I have always been under the impression that I will be a passenger princess for life and just let my license kind of collect dust in my wallet. Uh, so five years later, fast forward, I'm finally driving. Yes, your girl is driving. And even up to today, I've already driven um, upstate about two and a half hours out. I've already driven to every single borough in New York City, yes. And I have so many other things that I'm just gonna check off of my box. So I'm excited to kind of talk through that with you guys with these steps to identify how it is that we can overcome our goals despite feeling a little fearful because that's going to happen despite the negative thoughts and the doubts that we might have within our minds so yeah so tip number one is to make sure that you identify what your goal is what is the thing that you want to accomplish make sure that you either write it down create a vision board a list whatever it is that you want to accomplish make sure that your vision and your goal is very clear but also make sure that it's a smart goal that is specific it's measurable it's achievable it's relevant and also it's time bound or time sensitive writing out your goal helps guide you and it gives you that purpose so you know what it is that you're working towards so you can't say i want to accomplish my doubts and my fears i want to overcome them without having something that actually helps you identify whether or not you've accomplished that or whether or not you've overcome it. Um, so it's important that you set a very clear goal. Number two, challenge those negative thoughts. The reason you have doubt and fears is because you're thinking of the worst case scenario. You're thinking of the bad thing that could happen, but it's also important to think about the other aspect. What about the amazing things can that can happen, right? So. I've always lived with this mindset of like expect the unexpected but sometimes we get so caught up in like the negative unexpected thing versus the positives like whoa I didn't expect this thing to blow up I didn't expect this thing to do so well but it's because we're so focused on the negatives that we never let ourselves get to the positive so if you find yourself having negative thoughts about this will never work or I can't achieve this or whatever the case may be, challenge them with words of affirmation, with identifying um, past successes that you've already accomplished and keep pushing. Forward. Number three, believe in yourself. These negative thoughts are coming because you actually don't believe you have what it takes to accomplish that goal. So if you make a goal and you're like, this is what I want to accomplish, you need to also remind yourself, me, I, I can do this. I will accomplish this goal. I've got this. This is something that I'm able to achieve and I will achieve it. So once you have that mindset that it's something that I can achieve, you will get there. You just have to envision and see yourself 
already accomplishing that goal and you'll take the necessary steps in order to accomplish that goal. Tying into the strengths that you have, I have what it takes, I have the skills to accomplish this goal and just making sure it's very clear that you believe that you can accomplish it, that's why it's a goal, right? So one part of like it being a smart goal is it being achievable. So believe in yourself. Number four is praying and fasting. Yes, we want to believe in ourselves. Yes, we want to focus on the skills that we have, but none of that matters if we are not walking in our purpose. And prayer and fasting is so important to identify, like, is this where God wants me to go? Is this what God wants me to do? Is this the path that I should be taking? Is this something that I should even be doing, right? Once you have that clarity from the Lord and you know that this is exactly what he's purposed for you in your lifetime, you already have that favor. So pray over it. There's also gonna be people that aren't necessarily there for you, aren't necessarily rooting for you. So you need to make sure you're praying against those principalities and those powers that are working against you so that you have that favor of the Lord to walk smoothly. Not that the challenges won't come because you already got that with fear. That alone is some of the challenges. That's not from God. That is from the enemy. So you need to pray against those things to make sure that you can be able to accomplish your goal. Number five, break down all your goals <laughs> i just made that five sets but no seriously we get so excited whenever we're like this thing is what i want to accomplish and i think of it like a circle right this is my goal and these are all the steps that i need to accomplish in order to fill in that circle right like you know kind of like the activity bar or like your goal and your watch where it's that circle how many steps you've made for the day once you get to the goal awesome you have to go step by step by step by step in order to get to the end, right? In order to get to that goal. Sometimes we may get so excited that we're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this thing and I'm gonna do that thing and I'm gonna do that thing. And we're leaving things half done or we try to take these big chunks, bite off more than we can chew versus going step by step by step. So even this other analogy where it's like the staircase with like the little baby steps versus like the ladder that's significantly separated. Which one do you think that you're, you have a better chance of accomplishing? Yeah, obviously the stairs because as you take the baby steps, one, you won't feel overwhelmed. You won't feel like it's impossible. You won't feel like this is not something that you can do. But as you're taking the steps level by level by level, you'll get to the top and be like, ooh. Well, how did I get here? And obviously you'll know what you did to get there, but it'll feel a lot less intimidating than if you were to try to, oh my gosh, I'm struggling to get here. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling to get there. It also helps you with consistency so that every single day, every single minute, every single moment, whatever it is you're working towards, you are able to achieve little things and celebrate those small wins and get closer to your goal. Number six. Face your fears. At the beginning, we talked about the negativity and how we challenge those negative thoughts, but sometimes you generally can be nervous about something. You generally can feel like, whoa, this is intimidating, right? But do it scared. It's okay, right? Like I remember when I joined my cheerleading team in high school, I was terrified of heights. I wasn't even going up that high, but I was really scared. So that held me back from learning as much as I could have as one of the flyers on the team. There was a lot that I wasn't able to accomplish because I would be there and my legs are shivering. I'm like, I can't do this. Or because I think about what if I fall down? What if I hurt myself? What if I hurt others? But I had to learn that I needed to do things scared. Like even to this day, there's things that I can do now that I was afraid of doing back then that I'm like, girl, why were you scared? What were you afraid of? Why didn't you just, even though you were afraid, why didn't you just do it? Like I could have learned all of these things despite my fear and would have been a lot more successful, honestly. Sometimes it could be something so simple that we're getting directions for, but we create this blockage that we're like, I'm too afraid, 
or we get like the little baby step where then we're thinking about the end goal or the next couple steps that are a little scary that we hold ourselves back from doing the first step. Do it scared. The worst is going to happen is that you don't get it the first time, but then you have a chance to do it again and again and again. <sighs> Number seven, seek support. Sometimes our doubts and fears that we have are deeper embedded issues that we haven't really tackled and we've been living with it maybe since childhood. So maybe it's something that we need like some uh, mental health support or it could be just our family and our close friends giving us that support, that encouragement, like you got this. So it's so important to make sure that we are seeking help and support as we need it um, because oftentimes it may be difficult to just do it on your own. Maybe it does take that professional or friend or family member that has gone through something similar to what you've gone through and was able to overcome it. Well, hello, you came to this video. Hi. So that's one of the steps that you are following. You're like, how do I overcome my doubts and fears? Okay, she's going through it. I'm going to listen to some of her tips um, and get that help and support that I need. But um, I've definitely reached out to friends before. Like, hey guys, so how did you do X, Y, and Z? Or I'm feeling nervous about X, Y, and Z. Like, I need some advice. I need some support in that. And it has helped me. It feels amazing when you can be encouraged and supported, but also kind of get some guidance from someone or advice in regards to doubts and fears or the steps you need to take and etc. So yes, again, you've come to the right place and you've sought some hope. So let's keep going and let's accomplish those goals. Next thing I would say to do is to practice self-care. Give yourself love, give yourself grace. You're not gonna get it perfect the first time around. You're not gonna just magically snap your fingers and everything fall into place. Life just doesn't work like that. It's not a movie, it's not a fairy tale. But even when you make mistakes, use that as an opportunity to learn and to grow and to go back to the drawing board and try it a different way, try it another way. Understand that sometimes when we're in the thick of things, we kind of lose track of, oh, I should have followed this step. Oh, I should have challenged those negative thoughts before it got this far. It's okay, even if you get that far and you're like, whoa, I'm still thinking negatively, you caught yourself in that moment, pause, do what it is you need to do, whichever one of the steps that makes sense in that moment, whether it's going back to the drawing board and rethinking your goals, figuring out if it's something that is achievable, figuring out if it's something that you even want to do that is even relevant to do, or if it's something that you're trying to do to please others. Um, definitely just take a step back, figure out what it is that you need to do in order to accomplish that goal. And most importantly, whatever you do, despite the mistakes, despite the setbacks, don't give up. Number nine, learn from setbacks yes i was talking about sometimes you kind of slip up or things don't work out the way that you planned or the way that you wanted them to understand that it is okay sometimes it's not meant to work out in the way that you envision what you want it or the steps you're taking doesn't make sense or it's not the best path to take um but whatever it is that doesn't work it doesn't mean give up or stop right there learn from the setback take note of it and then advance. Take these setbacks as opportunities to learn and to grow and continue with renewed determination and a new approach. And last but not least, no. number 10, celebrate your achievements. Sometimes it can seem like our goal is still so far away, but understand that every single step you take is progress. So take some time to give yourself a nice little bath, a little spa day, whatever it is. Watch an episode of one of your favorite shows, take a nap, take yourself out for some dessert, whatever it is that you do to celebrate, celebrate your accomplishments every step of the way because every step you take is getting you closer and closer to your goal and you want to acknowledge that. You want to be proud of that because you're not just sitting back and not doing anything. You are doing things. Whether your accomplishments are big or small, celebrate them because those steps are getting you closer to accomplishing that ultimate goal you have. Seriously, guys, if you follow these steps to the T, you can get one step or multiple steps closer to accomplishing your goals and overcoming fear and doubt.
I pray that this year you unlock your fullest potential, that you are your most successful that you've ever been in your life in this year. You will, you can, and you have what it takes to accomplish your goals. I'm so excited to see what it is you guys accomplished this year. Write in the comments, what is it that you're working towards? One of my goals, YouTube related goal, is to post one video every single week. And I started in February, I think the beginning of the month, I don't remember, but I started this month and I've been trying to be consistent, but we're not gonna say trying. I'm going to be, I am, I will be continually consistent with at least one video every single week. That's why this video is coming up tonight because we, we're not trying to miss, we're not trying to miss a week, okay? We just, we just not. With that being said though, comment below what is your goal, one goal or multiple goals. What is it that you're working to accomplish in this year? Comment below because I really want us to be able to come back at the end of the year and see, did we take the steps towards that goal? Celebrate. Did we accomplish that goal? Celebrate. Whatever it is that you have done by the end of the year, I want to be able to celebrate with you. Just know that once you comment below, I'm going to love on it. I'm going to check up on you. I'm going to pray for you and the goals and just make sure that this is exactly what it is that you're called to do and you continue to walk in your purpose. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also make sure that you share it with your friends and family that you feel could really benefit from this video. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye guys! Let's get these goals, okay? Here we go.